morning, church, and welcome to this special edition of This Week at First Press. My name is Greg Stovell. I'm one of the pastors, and I'll be joined by my colleague, Caroline Cup later on in this video. Now, this is a different kind of video. First, let me say that it is the season of Lent, and there are many opportunities for us to grow in faith that we'd like for you to be aware of. Uh, from Bible studies to movie nights later on this week and so much more. Uh, please read below this email for more information about what's going on this week. Uh, first, let me say, there's a lot of talk and concern these days about the coronavirus and infectious diseases and the flu. Uh, there have been even some school closings in our area and you might have even heard about Westchester University moving to an all online teaching model for the rest of the semester. Well, in the midst of all this, we want you to know that First Press is doing everything we can to prepare for and address any coronavirus concerns that we might have both in the church and in the community. First things first, however, before we share some of those with you. Uh, did you know that the most repeated commandment or directive in Scripture from God is, do not fear? Um, did you know also that it is the most ignored of all of God's commandments? course this. We want you to know that we serve a sovereign God who works through the church and in the church for us to take care of each other and to take care of the world around us. And so today we're taking some of these steps not mindful of the majority of us, but rather mindful of those among us who are the most vulnerable right now. So these are some of the things that we are doing, some of the initial steps that we are taking. Uh, first of all, we want to let you know that in keeping with the guidelines of the CDC regarding food sharing, uh, we are suspending bridge dinners until further notice. This is just out of an abundance of caution. So no bridge dinners until further notice. Uh, also, regardless of that, all groups, all Bible studies, all meetings, all groups for now remain scheduled as usual. And that's not only in Wednesday nights and Sunday mornings, but throughout the week. So for now, no changes there. Um, also, we want to let you know about our communication patterns. We're going to up the communication to the congregation with everything that we are learning as we go along and all of the plans here in the church. The best place to be informed are these videos. Uh, you'll hear Caroline speak about a new Saturday afternoon email that the pastors will be sending and constant new information on the website right above the, the uh, um, body of the website on the banner, you will find information about uh, the latest news and also um, worship information and other pertinent information regarding this crisis. Um, well, you also know if you are sick, uh, we encourage you to stay at home, but not only to stay at home, but to please log in and worship with us online. We are glad when you're part of the congregation, either in person or online, but if you're feeling symptoms or if you're sick, I feel completely free to stay home and reach out to us if there's anything we can do. Hi, it's Caroline here. We want to assure you that if you are nervous for any reason, erring on the side of caution, it is more than fine to stay home during these Sundays, during days like this. And we hope that you will join us streaming online. That will be at nine o'clock and then a recording of that service will be available at 1015. Pastors, staff are working with session, with deacons, and with trustees to keep continually update our protocols based on the latest information. And we're working to stay in touch with our most vulnerable members to make sure that they feel the love and the connection of the church during these unsettling times. We also have a task force of members in our community who are um, have some particular expertise in infectious diseases, in uh, nursing and, and physicians to keep, um, keep us informed about best practices and help us inter to interpret some of the regulations that are coming out. Um, we're following our local authorities' instructions as well. Um, for the absolute latest news, we hope that you will continue to watch these Wednesday e uh, news recordings. We will have a banner on our website with the latest information that'll start on 
the Thursday, so tomorrow. And then on Saturday, we are going to be sending out an email to the entire congregation each Saturday with the most up-to-date information about Sunday. Um, if this, if you do not have your email address updated with the church, now is the time to do that. And if you have any questions throughout this process, do not hesitate to reach out to Greg or myself, to the church office, or to any staff member, and we will work hard to get you any information that you need. I think the most important piece of information for all of us is that we worship a great and loving God who is working in and through all of this, who has accompanied the church through um, time, from time immemorial, through all times of uncertainty and of illness, and that that God is most especially with those who may be most fearful during that time, and thankfully has given us the church so that we can care for each other. Um, we, like our ancestors before us, are interpreting our, our church practice practices in light of the challenges of the day, and we look forward to more opportunities to do that. And um, and if you have any suggestions, any thoughts, we look forward to hearing with them. Uh, in, in, uh, in the spirit of this great and wonderful God, we bless you and keep you and we'll be in touch very soon. God bless you. Bye.